When you first turn on the PCRF H1E, you go through the wizard start guide. So first of all, it's going to ask you the language of the controller. So select the language, press OK. You then got time and date. You can have 12 or 24 hour format. Um, you can set the settings and press OK. You've then got the option for configuration assistant or advanced configuration. We recommend you use configuration assistant. Is the device attached to the unit? So if it's, if it's connected to the heat pump directly, yes. Um, the only time you would select no is if it was being used as a, as a separate room thermostat for a different zone. Is the device used as a room thermostat? So this controller has a thermistor in the bottom, so it can be used as a thermostat, um, but these systems can also be used with third party controls. So we're gonna say no for the moment. How many heating circuits do you have? You've got the option of one or two. Uh, most systems will have one. Uh, if you select two, then the system's looking for a second temperature circuit. Okay. What are the heat emitters installed? So you can have underfloor, fan coils, or radiators. And whichever you select, the heat curve will automatically be set for that those particular emitters. Do you have a hot water tank? Yes. Do you have a swimming pool? Not in this case. Do you have a backup boiler? No. Do you have an electric backup heater? Yes or no? No. Which thermostat do you have for circuit one? So because we're not using the controller as a thermostat, we're going to select none. And that's what we'd always select for third party controls. That's now complete.